Hi, welcome to my channel, Danielle H Creations. Today we're making a pumpkin topiary out of Dollar Tree materials. These gems here are from the Dollar Tree. Uh, so first you will need some stick-on gems. I did find that these eventually did come off. Um, they didn't adhere to the uh, velvet very well on these deco pumpkins, which are also from the Dollar Tree. They had them in various colors. There was also a burgundy color. These silver pumpkin here, I do not end up using in the topiary. It's just left to the side right now. I did discover um, hot glue. A little bit of hot glue on either end of these gems will just help keep them in place. As of right now for the video, I'm just placing them on and finding the the best look for them. The orange pumpkin was probably one of my favorites. This one we're going to do on the green pumpkin, we're going to do a pattern with the gems. Going every other pattern, I have like a cross shape and a square shape. Following the lines in the pumpkin, I am using some of the line gems that I have and running along the creases, going from the top to the bottom. Some of my strands were a little long, so I have to cut them in half. And in some cases, my lines were a little short, so I just added on to them, placing the gems butted up next to each other. Use my dog in the bark background, she's barking at some squirrels. Next, I'm using some wooden barbecue skewers. 
and breaking them in half. We're going to take the tops off two of these pumpkins. The green one was a little harder to get off, so I used some scissors to help pop it out. So poking the stick in and adding some glue around the base and I put a little bit on the stick as well to try to keep it in place. Now poke through the center of the other pumpkin that's going to go on top, press together. And I added a little bit more glue just to help keep the fabric in place. If you find it's a little hard to poke it through, you can always use a screwdriver to poke a hole through your top of your pumpkin and then placing your stick in. Again, add some more glue around the top and on the stick and put your top pumpkin on. Now for this topiary, I decided I'd like the, the top stem on here. You can always make your own stem um, using different materials. Uh, you could use a uh, cork, uh, maybe some rope, or an actual stick from outside. Just cut it and put, place it on top. Now this is a glitter ribbon that I'm gluing the center and along the, the top and the bottom of the pumpkins, the width of the gems. I'm going to push in the center and place part of the gem ribbon on either half of the pumpkins. Gluing as I go. Next, you want your ends uh, to line up. So line up your ends and then cut the desired length. And continue gluing it on. And just press along the center and butt up your two ends. Okay, now we're going to do the same procedure on the top two pumpkins. Making sure you're, you know which way you want the front of your pumpkin to be and put the ends where the joints are going to meet in the back.
Next part, I decided to use some white paint trim that I had called Chantilly Lace and paint a wooden box. Uh, this box I had laying around. They do sell a little smaller wooden boxes at the Dollar Tree that you could glue together if you want to make them longer. Uh, later on, I decided to dry brush the box with some gray paint that I had to give it more of an antique finish. I don't actually show myself dry brushing on the box though. Now we're going to glue down a piece of foam. Uh, this foam I had around the house from a package that was delivered. You can buy craft foam that is located at the Dollar Tree or any craft or dollar store. Uh, place your pumpkin topiary in the center or off center if you want. Now I am taking uh, floral pieces that I had. Uh, these pieces don't have any stems so I'm taking toothpicks and gluing the end of the floral and placing the toothpick in and then just poking it, placing it through the foam. I am not gluing it into the foam uh, in case I decide I want to move things around later. If you do want things more permanent and not to move around, feel free to glue them in. Uh, these little pumpkins, uh, it's a turquoise and um, like an antique white color that I am placing around. I'm going to go every other color uh, with the pumpkins, placing it front, side, and back. Again, I'm just poking some toothpicks that I have. You could also use um, some floral picks. Uh, you can find those at uh, your dollar store or craft store. All the materials here are from the Dollar Tree other than uh, the box and the foam that I'm using here. The floral here is from the Dollar Tree as well. I have some orange and brown uh, with some green leaves and some white floral that I mix in here. There's also some orange and yellow berries that I'm placing in the project. You can use some wire snippers to cut the stems of your floral. For this floral, I didn't have to do the, the toothpick thing because it has a little metal stem. Later, to straighten up my pumpkin topiary there, I take a little more hot glue and a toothpick to help straighten it up. 